Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 13. These are the measures of the altar. Now we're at the altar. After the cubics. Measurements are the cubics. The cubic is a cubic and a hand breath. Telling us what the cubic is. Even that, I mean, it's depending on the hand breath. Even the bottom shall be a cubic. And the breath a cubic. So it's square. And the border thereof by the edge there round about shall be a span. Now in Moses' altar, the brazen altar didn't have it, but the incense altar, the table had it, was a crown. And this shall be the higher place of the altar. And from the bottom upon the ground, even to the lower settle shall be two cubits. And it's like a, a, a railing kind of edge, kind of lip, the hole. And from the lesser settle to the greater settle, shall be four cubics and the breath one cubic. So the altar shall be four cubics from the altar and upward shall be four horns. That's where you would tie the animals up there. And the altar shall be twelve cubics long And twelve broad square in the four squares thereof. So this is the altar. Verses 13, 14, and 15 is the bottom of the altar, the, the frame of the altar. And the settle shall be fourteen cubits long and fourteen cubit fourteen broad. In the four square, and the border about it shall be half a cubic, and the bottom thereof shall be a cubic above, about, and his stairs. There was no stairs in Moses. Shall look toward the east, so it'll be on the east side, going up. And he sh and he said unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, thus saith the Lord God. These are the ordinances of the altar in the day when thou shalt make it. Now look at this ordinance here. You know, you think of ordinance, you know, you can't have music after so long. You have to park your car here and, you know, you can't do it. The ordinances is, is the size. You can't go and build this altar to your liking. I would even go so far as to say the way God is, it better be the exact cubic. You better measure twice and cut once. The day thou shalt make it. And offer burnt offerings thereon. So it's the brazen altar, but there's no brass mentioned. And to sprinkle the blood thereof. And thou shalt give to the priests the Levites, that be the seed of Zadok. So in the future, we will know who the tribes are. And we will even know the family names and you will find that there are the children of Zadok still living. When some foolishly, wrongly proclaim God is all finished with Israel. 
God will be all finished with you and not with Israel. Which approach unto me to minister unto me, saith the Lord God. A young bullock for the sin offering. Now shall take the blood thereof and put it on the four horns. This is the ordinances too of it. And the four corners is settled, and upon the border round about, thus shalt thou cleanse and purge it. Now shall take the bullock also of the sin offering, and shall burn it in the pro appointed place of the house without the sanctuary. So there is a place in the house of offering. On the second day, thou shalt offer a kid of the goats without blemish for a sin offering. They shall cleanse the altar as they did cleanse it with the bullock. When thou hast made an end of cleansing it, thou shalt offer a young bullock without blemish and a ram out of the flock without blemish. Thou shalt offer them before the Lord, Jehovah, God, Jesus. And the priest shall cast salt upon it. And the law stated, you're to offer those offerings without lacking salt. They shall offer them upon the burnt offering unto the Lord. It's funny because ye are the salt of the earth. Salt was put into the fire. Salt was part of the offering. Many people, oh, I'm the light of the world and I'm the salt and all that. Have you been put through the fire? Are you an offering to God? Or are you just a big mouth that Satan has filled your mouth with some verses of the Bible that you take out of context? Because every offering was to have salt. Seven days shalt thou prepare every day a goat for a sin. Oh, wait a minute. Do you see something about that one? Seven days thou shalt prepare every day a goat for a sin offering. In the law, that was a lamb. A lamb in the morning and a lamb at night. Because the lamb is now sitting on the throne of David. They shall also prepare a young bullock and a ram out of the flock without blemish. Seven days shall they purge the altar and purify it. And they shall consecrate themselves, set apart to the service of God. And when these days are expired, it shall be that upon the eighth day, I wonder what day of the feast that this will happen. Maybe. Because only one of the feasts had the eighth day celebration. The Feast of Tabernacles. Possibly the birthday of Jesus. Christ in the flesh circumcised the eighth day. And so forward. The priest shall make your burnt offerings upon the altar. So see the burnt offerings, the offerings are still going to happen in the millennium. And your peace offerings, that goes back in the book of Leviticus, and I will accept you. And if you don't do your offerings, even in the millennium, you're not going to be accepted as an individual. Corporate, you're accepted. An individual, no. Today, Individuals are accepted through the blood of Jesus Christ, but corporate, you saw the switch? Say if the Lord God. 